So the primary job we'll be continuing on with today um, obviously is this rudder post. As I've mentioned previously, I've, um, I've cut through the webs and through the uh, profile bar that is welded through to be able to reposition it slightly. And it, it is a, a fr only a fraction out, so it won't take much to move that. And I'll weld some braces in place to hold it in position before I weld up around the web. Um, I'll tuck you up top and I'll show you where I'm going to be doing this welding up later on and also I'll give you a quick look at um, what I did to treat the area for surface rust before I weld it all back up again. It's a quick look at uh, how I treated the rust around this area with that chemical fur tan I was telling you about. Obviously in those tight spots down there it's really hard to get any kind of um, useful Rust removing in there, any kind of uh, wire wheels or whatever, it's just, it never really does it 100%. So I just wire brushed the, the surface rust away, uh, vacuumed it out, and then sprayed this chemical on there. And basically, what it does is converts the, any remaining surface rust into that ferric uh, tannin. I can't remember the name, but anyway, that should be ready for welding up. What I'm going to do first is make up a couple of braces um, to weld to the profile bar on each side and another two for the web plates across the, the span of that web plate um, across each side of the rudder post and the web plate and hopefully that will um, yeah, we'll give it a hopefully that will line up nice and uh, accurately. Alright, let's get some tools to get started. taken the angles for the half and forward ends of the braces so I can cut these angles to get the braces to match up here and here. Um, fortunately with these web plates the, the rubber post is just slightly full of the web plates so I'll be able to weld a brace directly on the side and just put a good um, heavy weld on the corners there on the or should I say on the ends of the lug. So I'll be able to put a, a heavy weld on the end of the lug um, each side and have the braces uh, welded on the forward side of the web plates. And that should give me a nice um, strong position so for when I weld up down here and uh, all the way around. So uh, I'll go and mark up and cut some braces.
So I've cut through the aft and um, forward profile bars. And as I mentioned in the previous video, that's really some tension in there. And uh, this gap at the back is opened up significantly. And this one's closed up a little bit. Um, but what I'm still finding is the bearing, if I hold it flush and push it down, once it slides that first half a mil into the recess, it's pushing forward that way, which means the bearing is coming down and then sliding back. So it means the shaft is still. Um, so it means the shaft is still forward very fractionally. Um, so what I need to do to even that up, I need to put a wedge in here and knock a wedge there and just get the top edge of this post to move forward slightly and we literally need to go half a mil in fact um, and that will line this post up with the uh, shaft and the bearing so I'll go and cut a wedge uh, knock it in there with a hammer and hopefully that will just give me enough spring to push this forward a bit We'll see how it goes.